the works of the flesh are not the works of the physical body. Please pay attention. They are not the works of the physical body. So stop fasting to break sin in your life. Because every time you finish the fast, you will sin more. Stop punishing your body to overcome an addiction. That's why you don't overcome addiction by self-discipline. If you try after some time, it comes back. The works of the flesh are not the works of your body. Please, that's important. So don't punish your body. Something controlled your hand to steal. It's not your hand that stole. Something stronger than your hand carried your hand. Even when your hand knew it should not carry, it could not help because something stronger than it is controlling it. So don't punish the hand. Look for the control button. I'm teaching good this afternoon. Don't cut the hand. Look for the control button. Sounds about Jesus said, if my hand will make me sin, I should cut it off. Oh yeah, cut him now. Bring it. Let me use machete. I help you cut it. You hypocrite. Jesus was speaking in parables. He wasn't talking of literal cut off. If it was literal, church would be full of amputees. Is that, is that the right word? Amputees. Short hand, no leg. Because the leg led, led me to steal. So I removed the leg. So I will not go next time. <laughs> eh? Then the hand is out because the hand took something it shouldn't take. Then you remove the eye because you saw a sister and you were focusing on something you shouldn't look at. So you are. Yeah. <laughs> then you tell her you remove your mouth. <laughs> Amputees all over the place. Then there will be no more church. Hey, that's all these legalism churches. They are, they are jokers. If they are really serious about the law, those churches where the law is preached, there should be a lot of amputees in that church. But to show you that they are not serious, nobody has been amputated in that church. It means they are hypocrites. So the flesh does not refer to the physical body. The flesh refers to who we were under the law. Men that are not born again, they are the ones called flesh. Thanks be to God, we are not in the flesh, but we are in the spirit. And we have the fruit of the spirit, which is Christ in us. We don't need anything. Rather, we are walking in it. We have a perfect character in him. And that's what spiritual growth is. Spiritual growth is growing in acknowledging who I am and walking in the reality of it. Spiritual growth is picking up your new habits and doing away with your crucified habits. Renewing the mind results in walking in the spirit. He calls it the works of the flesh, ergo, E-R-G-O. And then he calls it the fruit of the spirit. Why so? Because both are referring to deeds. Ergo has to do with efforts, E-R-G-O. And the word fruit means a result of something. So we have the result of Jesus' efforts. But when we want to do things on our own, we produce the works of the flesh. The best a man can produce by himself is a work of the flesh. So the fruit of the spirit will be a result of our focus and our consciousness of what Christ has done for us. When we focus on that, when we focus on what Christ has done, then we are walking in the spirit. Sometimes you just can't help the situation as it were. But when you focus on Christ, what you have is Christ's ability. That the communication of your faith 
may become effectual. How? By the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you because you are in Christ. As we continue this series, we will observe this. You need to continually say what God says about you in life's issues. You can't say, I get angry often. I know myself. I cannot control myself. My anger is very powerful. You, I can't control my habit. I know myself. Once my mouth open, it is like a tap that is broken. I talk too much, even when I don't want to talk. I know myself. You can't be saying such things and walk in the spirit. You must say what God says. Even if it contradicts your reality. You must say what God says. Until what God says is more real than your reality. Glory to our God. You say what God says. Until what you are saying becomes more real than what you see around you. Say with me, I have self-control. Say it very loud, I have self-control. In the face of apparent sinful habits. I have self-control. Say, in the face of apparent simple habits, I have self-control. In the face of apparent sinful habits, I have self-control. Say what God says. Sometimes just after you mistakenly commit sin, say the word. I'm righteous. I'm bigger than this. I'm holy. That's not my reality. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. You walk away talking what God says. Until what God says is more real than the sin you committed. Yes, you feel bad. Because you're a child of God. Yes, your heart condemns you. But God is greater than your heart. But you need the walk of victory. By walking in the spirit. And you walk in the spirit when you say what God says. And act what God says. Stand up and say, I'm born of God. I am meekness. I have patience. I have long suffering. I am created unto good works. Hallelujah. Created unto what? Good works. Say very loud, I don't have a character defect. Shout it, let's say it and get it as a slap. I have a full formed character in Christ. I have full formed habits. In Christ Jesus. I walk in my habits. In Christ Jesus. Say love is my habit. Joy is my habit. Peace is my habit. Meekness is my habit. Faithfulness is my habit. Goodness is my habit. These are my habits in Christ. Get on your feet and walk to somebody. Tell him joy is my habit. <laughs> 